Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. Sunnah Revival by Sheikh Mu'iz Bukhari Sunan of the Etiquettes of Eating and Drinking Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, this is Mu'iz Bukhari recording for the Daily Reminder Network. If you love Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the best way to prove that is by embracing the life of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as your life. Our Maker rightfully states in the Noble Quran, قُلْ إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهَ فَاتَّبِعُونِي يُحْبِبْكُمُ اللَّهِ يُحْبِبْكُمُ اللَّهُ وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ وَاللَّهُ غَفُورٌ رَحِيمٌ Say, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, إِن كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهِ if you love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, فَاتَّبِعُونِي Then follow me. يُحْبِبُكُمُ Allah Allah Azza wa Jal will love you وَيَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ ذُنُوبَكُمْ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive your sins. وَاللَّهُ غَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ Allah is the most forgiving, the most merciful. So let us achieve the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by following our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was the greatest teacher sent to us by Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. He came down with a complete way of life. He taught us matters from eating, drinking, relieving ourselves on to great matters such as ruling the lands. Allahu Akbar. So inshallah ta'ala for today's episode we will be touching on the etiquettes and the sunan that have been taught to us by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in regard to eating and drinking. But please bear in mind, there is a lot of content to cover. So this particular topic or the content for this topic might span, might go on or continue for about an episode or two, inshallah ta'ala. Let me start off by mentioning a few sunan and etiquettes that can be followed before eating. Number one on the list is to inquire about the food if you are a guest and if you don't know what the food is. This is from the Sunnah of the Prophet He never consumed any food until he found out about the food. What is this food? Where did it come from? Say for example, if it is meat, what meat is this? Where did it come from? And the Prophet used to do this to determine halal and pure food. As believers, we need to follow the footsteps of the Prophet by striving to do so. That's number one. Number two is to wash your hands before eating. This too has been established through the Sunnah of the Prophet and this protects an individual from bacteria and dirt that may be present in his or her hands. Number three is to rush to accept food that has been offered by a host. It is upon the host to rush to serve food to entertain his guests and it is upon the guests to rush to accept the food from their host. And this is part of good etiquettes, good manners because say if the guest were not to consume the food that would hurt the host. So you should rush to accept food that has been presented to you by your host after following the first two etiquettes. The next etiquette in line is another sunnah that has been taught to us by Rasulullah and there are many narrations to highlight the importance of this particular sunnah and it is to mention the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala before consuming the food to say Bismillah before eating like I said there are many narrations there is one particular narration and the narration goes along the lines of these words the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said that when an, in, when an individual enters his home let him enter with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if he does so, then the devil says, today we don't have lodging in this house. And when he starts to eat, let him mention the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then the devil cries out, today we don't have food in this particular house. But on the other hand, if that individual were to enter his home without mentioning the name of Allah, Allahu Akbar, then the devil, you are basically offering free lodging for the devil. If you eat without mentioning the name of Allah, without saying Bismillah, then you are offering free food 
to nourish the devil. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all. Umar ibn Abi Salama radiallahu an, he is reported to have said, and the narration goes along the lines of these words, I was a young boy under the care of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. One day whilst I was eating, my hand was wandering all over the platter. You know, I was just moving my hand all over the platter. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught me to mention the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to eat with my right hand and to partake of the food that is present in front of me and not to let my hand roam all over the platter. Subhanallah. Moving on, here are a few sunan related to drinking. Number one on the list is that you are supposed to drink with your right hand. In other words, you are supposed to hold the utensil with your right hand. Number two, you must mention the name of Allah, Bismillah, before drinking. Number three, you are supposed to confine your drinking to at least a minimum of three sips and not down the entire drink in one gulp. This is not from the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. You must drink with a minimum of three sips, with a minimum of three sips. And do not breathe into the container. You're supposed to take a sip, move the container or the utensil away from your mouth and then breathe out. And then another sip, breathe out. And the third sip, you're not supposed to breathe into the cup. This is from the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. Next in line is that you are supposed to drink sitting down. You are supposed to drink sitting down. And then after drinking, you must praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have to praise Allah Azza wa Jal after drinking. And finally, you are not supposed to drink straight from a pitcher or a jug, but instead you must pour it into a cup or a utensil and then drink. These are a few sunan related to drinking. And part two of this episode, inshallah ta'ala, we will touch on more sunan related to eating and drinking, focusing on the sunan that uh, should be practiced and implemented whilst eating and after eating bi-ithnillahi ta'ala. Please don't forget to share this video around as much as possible to inspire an amazing sunnah revival. Jazakumullah khair wa akhir da'wa yani alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Support the da'wa. Donate now. Go to thedailyreminder.org slash donate.